Randomly, we are answering math questions at ito ay galing kay Luella Joy. Medyo marami man ito. Tingnan nga natin. So, by part ulit ito, ito ay sa geometry, cadet ship test review material para ito. So, ito ay geometry. At yung isa, word, prob word ay problem solving lang. Tapos, algebra. So, isa-isahin natin ito by part pa rin kasi masyado siyang marami. Dagdag ko lang ha, marami ito at wala tayong answer key. Kung sa palagay nyo ay mali yung sagot ko, just comment down below. Isa-isahin muna natin ito. Geometry. Solve the following 15 questions pero sa video ng ito, itong 5 questions lang muna. In 15 minutes daw. Anyway, number one, from the figure, what is the value of angle E? Wala man tayong makita ang figure kasi dito, so hindi natin yan sagutan, okay? Next, number two, what is the angle if its complement is two times larger than its supplement? Ang tanong mo na, ano itong complement? At ano itong supplement? Two angles are complementary. Surat nga natin yung complementary. When they add up to 90 degrees. While supplementary, supplementary angles are two angles that have a sum of 180 degrees Para hindi makalimutan Tandaan Complementary Supplementary Complementary angles are two angles When they add up to 90 degrees Supplementary angles are two angles That have a sum of 180 degrees Balikan natin ang problem number two. What is the angle if it's complement? Okay. When we say complement, two angles na ang total niya ay 90. So, 90 minus let n be that number na pares nitong 90. Kasi dalawang angle nga. Is equal yan siya. 2 times larger than its supplement. So, 2 times larger than its supplement. When we say 2 times, we multiply natin sa supplement. Supplement natin ay 180 minus n. Kasi nga, yung supplement ay dalawang angles yan na kung itotal mo ay 180. Ito na yung formula sa question number 2. I mean, ito na yung equation, bali. I-solve na natin yan. Wait. Ito muna ang unahin natin i-solve. And that is 360. 2 times negative n and that is negative 2n. Kopyahin lang si 90 at si minus n. Ipagsama ang mga like terms. So, dito lang si minus n at si minus 2n dyan. Since pang minus siya, pang add na siya sa pag-transpose natin dito sa kabila. So, i-keep natin si 360 dito. Then, si 90, since positive si 90 dyan, pag matranspose na, maging minus 90. 360 minus 90, that is 270. Negative n plus 2n, and that is positive 1n, or n lang siya. Kasi lahat naman ng mga variables, ang coefficient niyan ay 1 kung walang nakasulat. Automatic. So, ang sagot dito ay 270. So, ito na yung sagot. Next, dito tayo sa number 3. Basahin natin. What is the area of a square that, uh, that has a 5 cm long diagonal? Square, four equal sides. Ang diagonal ay 5 cm. 
area ang tanong. So, kailangan natin kunin yung itong height na to at saka itong width, yung sides niya. Bale, kasi ang area is equals to yung isang side times yung side dito. I-multiply lang natin yan. Pero, yung equal side, bale. So, or area is equals to sa square ba. Ngayon, ang problema natin ay kung ilan ito. Kaya, don't forget yung Pythagorean theorem. Yung C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Yung C squared natin, ito yung 5CM natin. So, 5 squared equals A squared at saka si B squared. Since square yan siya, so pariho yan. So, let X, X na lang kasi pariho lang siya. X squared plus X squared. Pariho yung value nila. Kaya, X lang siya or pwedeng N pariho or pwedeng A pariho. Ganon. Wait. Delete muna natin to. Next. Kopyahin lang natin si 5 squared equals X squared plus X squared and that is 2X squared. Wait lang ha. Isulat nga natin ulit ito para may space tayo. Bali, ito ay S squared. Pariho lang. At i-delete natin ito. Gandahan natin ng pagkasulat ba? So, yung Pythagorean theorem. S squared equals A squared plus B squared. Tapos yung C squared natin, that is 5 squared. Tapos X squared plus X squared. Bakit ka mo? Kasi pariho lang ng yung sides nila. So, i-keep lang natin si 5 squared dito. X squared plus X squared, that is 2X squared. Ang gagawin natin ay square root natin yung buong equation. Para ito ay makancel out, 5 na lang siya. At ito ay makancel out, X na lang siya. Ang natitira mo ay square root of 2. Now, this is 5 is equal to square root of 2, X squared. Lagyan natin ng space para klaro sa inyo. X. X, X na lang pala. Wala na yung squared kasi cancelled na yan siya. Okay? So, ang after nito, ito na yung sagot. Bale. Ngayon, ang value ni X ang hanapin muna natin kasi yan yung dalawang sides natin. X times X. Okay? Next. Para ma-isolate si X dyan, since itong si square root of 2 ay pang multiply sa X, Pang divide ngayon siya sa 5. So, x is equals to 5 over square root of 2. Ang area, kasi ito yung x na to, yan yung mga sides natin. Okay? Ang area ay i-multiply natin si x times x. Yan na yung area. So, ang gagawin natin, itong si 5 square root of 2 times 5 Kasi siya yung value sa isang side. Pariho sila ng side. 5 over square root of 2. I-multiply natin yan. 5 times 5 and that is 25. Okay? Square root of 2 times square root of 2 and that is 2 lang. Now, 25 divided by 2 and that is 12.5. Yan na yung area. Saan na yun? 12.5 dito. Letter C. Ito na yung sagot. Just in case lang na medyo mahirap sa inyong intindihin itong question number 3, just comment down below para magawa natin ng iba pang tutorial video para himahimayin natin ba yung pinakadetalye talaga kung paanong naging ganon. So, dito na tayo sa next. Number 4. A hexagon has how many diagonals? First, ano nga ba yung hexagon? Review muna tayo. Kapag sinabing triangle, three sides. Quadrilateral, four sides. Pentagon, five sides. Hexagon, six sides. Heptagon, seven. Octagon, eight. Nonagon, nine. Decagon, ten. Ngayon, focus tayo dito sa hexagon kasi yan lang naman ang tanong. Six 
sides. Six. Ang tanong ay diagonals. Dito tayo muna. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dapat walang maulit. So, ang sagot dito ay letter A, nine. Review natin ulit. Triangle has three sides pero walang diagonals. Quadrilateral has four sides merong dalawang diagonals. Pentagon has five sides with five diagonals. Hexagon has six sides with nine diagonals. Heptagon has seven with fourteen diagonals. Octagon has eight sides with twenty diagonals. Nonagon has 9 sides with 27 number of diagonals. And Decagon has 10 sides with 35 number of diagonals. Next, dito tayo sa number 5. What is the larger angle if... What is the larger angle if two supplementary angles are in the ratio of 1 is to 2? Bigyan ko kayo ng dalawang ways of solving this. Doon muna tayo sa, anong tawag doon? Shortcut. 1 is to 2 lang naman. I-add muna natin 1 plus 2 equals 3. Supplementary, ano nga ba yung supplementary? 180. Two angles na ang total ay 180. So, 1 plus 2 equals 3. Itong 3 na yan, yan yung pang-divide mo sa 180. 180 divided by 3 equals 60. What is the larger angle? So, ang larger angle, ito yung 2. 1 is to 2 man. So, yung 60, i-multiply natin ng 2. 60 div times 2 equals 120. So, yan na yung sagot. 120 degrees. Now, another way. So, Ito ay solution number 1 natin. Next ay solution number 2. 1 is to 2 is the same as 1 over 2. So, 1 over 2 is equals to ang larger angle natin, let n be the larger angle. Tapos, yung isa ay 180 minus n. Dalawa mga angles nila. Ang total niya ay 180. So, i-minus na natin yung 10. Next. This is equals to n. I-multiply natin. And this one is 2, 180 minus n. 2 times 180 and that is 360. 2 times negative n, that is negative 2n. Next, ipagsama ang mga like terms. So, dito lang si n. Si minus n maging plus 2n dito pagka-transpose mo. Nandito lang si 360. N plus 2N, that is 3N. 360, para ma-isolate si N. Diyan si 3 pang multiply, pang divide sa 360. So, 360 divided by 3, and that is 120. So, yan na yung sagot. 120. Just in case mayroon kayong gustong i-clarify, comment nyo lang kung ano yon para pwede natin gawan ng isa pang tutorial video para himay-himayin natin yan lahat kung anong gusto niyong ipaklarify. Otherwise, pwede rin kayong mag-subscribe para maabangan ang next na mga videos natin. Thank you.